to say. Hello. Hi everyone. Hi everybody. This is my friend Carrie. She's my mentor and my Pilates teacher and um, she's been blazing the trail um, with a five day kickstart. She's just recently lost 10 kgs and I've been observing her and thinking, I need this. I need this in my life. I work out as hard as I can, as often as I can, sometimes three workouts a day and my working out is just not cutting the mustard. I just can't shift the scales. So Carrie, please let us know how you've done this. <laughs> well, I was exactly the same. I whacked on 20 kgs when I was menopausal. I am 58 now and of course, you know, as Stevie said, I'm a Pilates, Pilates instructor, I'm very active, I do line dancing, but I was not shifting that weight. And I know for me, I've got to get the weight off my joints. That's the key thing for me. I want to be active with my kids later on in life. I don't want to be riddled with all my arthritic things and stuff like that. So I know that I had to get this weight off. And I tried everything, you know, but I'm no good at counting calories. I'm no good at weighing food. I can't have fiddly things. I, I was tired of spending heaps of money on stuff that didn't work. And so, yeah, I tried the five day kickstart in January and I've lost 10 kgs since January. Yeah. And it shows. It yeah. really shows. So no, it's been awesome. And, it's and you, I think the the thing for me, Stevie, is is learning how to eat, when to eat, and what to eat. That's been one of the key things. Mm. And that's what Stevie's starting to learn. So if if you're in that same spot and you're like, you know what, I'm sick of this, maybe you're perimenopausal like Stevie, and you're just like, you know what, I've just got to do something. It's Stevie's birthday month this month. Yes, so She decided to treat herself. On the 3rd of June, I will start the kickstart, the five-day kickstart. Yeah. And I need to say goodbye. I will be watching the scales for the first time in a very long time. I used to be like, muscle weighs more than fat. I don't need to know about you scales. But still, that love-hate relationship with not knowing what to eat, um, being hungry and overeating. Um, I just want to feel more in control of what's going into my body. And it needs to be about gut health. Um, I love the science behind it. Yeah. Yeah. After being ill with COVID yeah. three times, after being ill with a tummy bug, I realized that I don't have my health. Um, I think I'm so healthy, so strong, and it can be taken from me that quickly. I can be on death's door. So I really have to look after my gut health. Diagnosed with RSI um, in 2000, um, I still struggle with all my joints. My fingers are quite crippled um, through the wrist, shoulder, elbow and shoulder. That's a pain that I have to live with. Um, knee injury hurts all the time, but I had to not let it stand in my way. I couldn't go, I've got a sore knee, I can't do anything. I've gone, I've got a sore knee, I'm gonna take liquid bison, I'm gonna take liquid collagen, mm. and I'm gonna look after myself from the inside out. Mm. Absolutely. And, and you know, there's a whole lot of research out there with gut health, and, and this has been, you know, one of the other reasons I started this is because I got brain fog after having COVID. And of course, I just blew up in my tummy. I was just as bloated as, as anything. So if you can relate, put bloated in the comments because I tell you, it was a nightmare. But there's a whole link, you know, there's a whole link with the gut brain axis now. And th this is basically how we approach the Slim Down program. It's such a clever program. So basically you're just learning to support your gut, but also choosing slightly different foods. There's some things that you also need to give up because they're, they're things that give us more inflammation in the body. And as we have inflammation on the body, that's what makes our joints sore. So, you know, if we, if we can learn how to do that, and for me, that's been a game changer. The other thing for me is I actually found I wasn't eating enough. I've actually had to eat more. Mm -hmm. It's been unbelievable for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So Stevie is going to be trying starting on the 3rd of June. Doing so it. anyone yeah. who's 
And like if you are just stuck, put stuck in the comments. Yeah. There's a fantastic accountability Facebook group, a messenger group. The four friends that started with me have all lost weight, all of us. So my dance teacher who started with me, she was diabetic and she had cholesterol issues. And to the point where the doctor was actually quite worried. And the doctor said to her, look, you're going to need to do something about this. And she's lost 13 kgs. She's got her diabetes readings are, she was given the all clear two weeks ago. Her cholesterol readings, she was given the all clear two weeks ago. And then one of my other friends who's lost 12 kgs, she had issues with iron. And now and in this program, we have things that help that. So now she's been able to reduce her iron tablets. She used to have three iron tablets a day. She's down to one. And she reckons she's get, get rid of all of them. Mm -hmm. Then one of my other friends who just cordon, 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 like me, get past that 70 kgs, mm -hmm. she's nearly lost 10 kgs. So I've lost 10 kgs. So it's, everyone in our group, it's just so inspiring to see. This is mm -hmm. just one of those programs where if you committed, you actually lose. And it's unbelievable. For men and women, it's not just about women, it's men and women. We um, mm. we put on weight, we sit there, and we learn to live with it, but you don't actually have to learn to live with it. Mm. Um, it's, mm. it's not acceptable. Mm. And you just get to a point where you say, actually, the scales for my health need to look different. Yeah. But that's, but that's the thing, is that we get despondent with our weight. You know, that was exactly me. I, I got from 78 to 70 and then I just got stuck. And I was like, I, you know, okay, I'll do this. And then I was walking more and that didn't help either. And, you know, and so I was doing all these things that I thought, you know, well, I've got to, I've got to try and I've got to, I mean, I'm, Short, like Stevie, you know, I don't need to be <laughs> <petite. laughs> <Petite. Petite. laughs> a pretty petite. Yeah. So, you know, so I knew I had to, I had to get my weight down and it gets harder as we get older. I'm 58. I need to get the stuff sorted now. You know, I want to be able to walk with my kids and do stuff with my kids. I don't want to be riddled with stuff as I get older, you know. So this is what's got me from 70 down to 60 kgs. It's just been unbelievable. Yeah, so... Hi everyone! Carrie and Stevie here. So I have just got to say how proud I am of this girl <laughs> because she's broken the barrier. She's broken 70 kgs. So she's gone down from 71.8 to 69.9 yeah in five days five days it's unbelievable so stevie just tell me because you've got a little mini test here in her jacket which is why she's yeah okay so this is her little challenge to herself over the boobs because for me i'm also big breasted and i have lost so many inches in my breast it's just amazing but also it's the back fat so you lose the back fat okay so what i've done with my bra is i've gone from you know the inner well, the, you know they're like three hooks yeah. and i was on the outside now i'm on the inside mm -hmm. you know so sometimes you don't actually see it in on the scales but you feel it in your clothes so this is going to be t a stevie's test and when she hits the zip, then we will hop on again. Anyway, um, just one of the things, Stevie, what was the hardest thing for you? Cravings around 2 and 3 o'clock for okay. chocolate. Cravings. So what did you do to not have that? I gave myself little drops of shape, chocolate shape, liquid collagen chocolate yeah. shape, just tiny little drops. And, and, and I was better. Yes. I was having huge chocolate cravings. Yes. Yeah. 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 Is, is sugar one of the things that has been an issue with you? No. 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 But that is the woman's cycle. Yes. So okay. The and cycle, also the emotional eating stuff. Yeah. 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 Who other of you have issues with emotional eating? Mm. Put emotional down in the comments. Losing weight 
using good eating, you just, what we teach you is how to eat, when to eat, and what to eat. So it's not a starvation thing. You don't have to count calories. You don't have to weigh anything. And actually, once you've got the hang of it, hey, it wasn't too bad. No, it was so good. Yeah, so yes. she's done it. Yeah. She's done the hardest five days. Yeah. So now she goes on to a maintenance program where she can add some other things. And away she goes. I, she's, I want 62. She wants 62. Right. Well, we will watch the space. So any of you here who are in this perimenopausal phase of life, like sitting, winter, you're hauling on your bag, fluffy clothes, to hide how you feel. Put something, winter clothes, in the comments. With all the knowledge, there's a wonderful Facebook group that's like a whole other family. We've got a messenger group where we can just chat all the time. Yeah, it's amazing. Hey? And summer bodies are made in winter, guys. Come on, let's yeah. go. All right, have a great day, everyone. Bye.